Hello students, welcome to Narayana Life Classes. We have another set of assignment here on now I can answer. Now I can answer you can find in your test book. Once you thorough with your lesson, when your lesson is completed, you have to do all these exercises in your textual things. Okay. So let me start fill in the blanks. So I am going to read for you. The early man lived in dash and on dash. You know, early man used to live in the caves, on the bars, on the treetops. Okay to protect them uh, from the natural things like rain or sunshine from the animals okay wild animals so early man lived in caves and on treetop on treetop is it clear coming to the next one he was dash in the early days of his evolution who is he here he is early man Early man was dashed in the early days of his evolution. Early man was completely uncivilized. He was uncivilized. What do you think about uncivilized? Now, we are civilized people. We know how to talk. We know how to behave. We know how to dress ourselves. This was not happening in the early stages for the early man. So, he was completely uncivilized. He was completely uncivilized. Who was uncivilized? early man was completely uncivilized coming to the next one in the old stone age he used dash and dash for the cutting trees and killing animals okay early man started using hammer and the axe heads and hammer and the axe head is also a stone it's not metal it is made up of stone so in the old stone age he used who is he again early man used hammer and axe head axe heads for the cutting of trees and killing animals coming to the next one the early man is also called dash man the early man is also called as dash man he is called as prehistoric man okay why it is called prehistoric man you know that is not what we call prepaid and postpaid what is pre means it's, it's happening it's a long time it's happened actually Okay, that's the reason it's called prehistoric man. We have a lot and lot of history behind the present stage where we are. This is pre. Everything has happened so many million years, years ago. Okay, like more than 1500 million years ago, actually early man existed, right? So, the early man is also called as prehistoric man. Prehistoric man. Is it clear? Come to the next one. Wants of one person may be dashed from that of another. As I said, I want something, you know, you can't say that my uh, wants and your wants are similar. I'm, I may want to eat uh, some uh, vanilla ice cream right now and you want to eat some strawberry. So my want is different, your want is different, right? Okay, your parents different, what, what do you want to eat, what do you want to eat. So wants are different from different people. So here... Want of one person may be different from another. So the answer is different. Wants are different from that of another. Is it clear? Next slide now. Tick the correct answer. Tick the correct answer. Let's read and let's find out what is the right option in that. The evolution of man started around dash million years ago. Okay. The evolution of man started around 1500 million years ago okay 1500 million years ago it's a long long journey we are in the that there was no century that time we are in 21st century right some 1500 million years ago the early man has started okay so answer is 1500 is it clear you're going to learn more when you come to your next next classes how the continents have been uh, occurred what are the landforms what are the uh, water bodies? You're going to learn all these things in your coming classes, like uh, when you just promote to the next class. Okay. Human first learned the art of making. Human first learned the art of making. What actually human started? He, they actually invented something. Okay. What they invented? We have some options here. Fire, wheel and pottery. If among all these three, these all were invented by the human only, right? But human first learn. They learn how to make fire. First they learn how to make fire, rubbing the stones, right? 
coming to the third one the fiber used by early man to make clothes was so what the early man started making the clothes with what so we have nylon silk and cotton these both are not definitely the answer goes for cotton is it clear coming to the next one dash is our basic needs dash is our basic needs this is, as i said there is a lot of difference between wants and needs okay this is basic need definitely uh, food clothes and shelter is a basic needs right let me see what options we have we have food car and comfort so what is a basic need definitely food food is a basic needs without food we can't live okay coming to the fifth one dash refer to things we need to live more comfortably that is want wherever there is a word called comfortably that is nothing but a want okay so yeah here i can see want needs and friends okay so answer goes for wants wants refer to the things we need to live more comfortably is it clear next go for the next line we have match the column match the following we need to match this column to that column okay let let's see how we can match it old stone age so during old stone age people started using the stone as a weapon they start they discovered the fire let's see what we can find here we have mud houses and pottery definitely not people living in small groups definitely not hammer and axes cotton and flakes polished stone and tools so they started old stone age period among all this option they started hammer and axes c is the option is it clear coming to the new stone age in new stone age people started living in a gathering they started living they domesticated they were little civilized okay so let me see new stone age what we can find we can mud houses and pottery people living see you actually you have to think about this column also you blindly can't just go for this new stone age definitely you can go for mud houses and pottery you can actually go for people living in a small groups but actually you have to see the other options also okay so new stone age here i can see polished stones cotton flakes hammer this is already over so new stone age we have to go for mud houses and pottery mud houses and pottery okay a is it clear now coming to middle stone age in middle stone age you know uh, the early men started polishing the uh, what you can say the tools little sharpen okay so let me see whether i can find here polished stone tools polished so answer is e polished stone tools so in the middle stone age the early men started polishing the tools which is very easy for killing the animals or hunting now community living community living is nothing but living in the houses in a groups okay so what we have people living in a small groups people living in a small groups so b is the answer b is the answer is it clear coming to the last one clothing clothing what we have mud houses is over people living with so hammer axes cotton and flakes so clothing means cloth was made by cotton and flax seeds so d is the answer is it clear children okay old stone age is a sea hammer and axe new stone age mud houses and pottery coming to so new stone age you know a wheel was discovered when wheel was discovered they started doing the pottery also right that's how mud houses and pottery okay you need to uh, what you can say you have to analyze you have to relate one topic to the another topic coming to middle stone age you have e option polished stone tools coming to community living you have b option people living in a small group five clothing clothing is cotton and flakes i hope this assignment is so clear for you complete all this assignment in your textbook and make sure that you are perfect you are punctual and read your textbook make a practice of reading your textbook children thank you thanks a lot